Hi there and welcome to the video. So to create this kind of smooth blended background with that little bit of texture that seems to be quite popular on a lot of um, lifestyle and stock websites, we're just going to create a new adjustment layer and I'm going to go to color fill. I'm just using a 1080p size canvas, but you can use whatever you like. So these are normally made of sort of three, around three different colors and you can use whatever colors you like, but the more sort of gentle pastel type colors work seem to work the best. So I'm just going to start with like a, a pinky purpley color, something like this. We can always adjust this later because we're doing it on an adjustment layer. So that's going to be our kind of our base color. So we're going to leave that as it is. And then we're going to create another adjustment layer, another color fill on top. And for this one, we're going to choose um, a complementing or a contrasting color, colors that go together. Um, and there's many ways to find this out. I'll put a link in the description to a website um, that will teach you about basic color theory um, with a tool. It's very, very important to know the basics. So check that out when you get a chance. But for this, I know that green is uh, a kind of an opposing contrasting color to this. So I'm going to pick a kind of a pastel green color. OK, now I'm going to go to the layer mask for that green and I'm going to press Control or Command I depending on if you're a PC or a Mac, to just temporarily hide it. And then I'm going to create another adjustment layer, color fill, with another color. So I'm going to go for maybe more of a yellow this time. Click OK and do the same with that. I'm going to hide it. So click on the layer mask and Command or Control I. So now we've got the bottom layer hidden. Oh, sorry, we've got the bottom layer completely visible, this kind of pinky sort of tone. And then we've got the green. So what we want to do is let's go to the green first. Press B for our brush tool. Make the hardness quite low. It doesn't really matter for this because we're going to use an adjustment layer. Um, sorry, a properties adjustment to change the softness. And this is why I've done it how I have. So we've got complete uh, flexibility to change it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to dot around a few um, of these green areas don't want to cover up too much because remember we've still got a yellow color to put on here yet and we, we want the purple to come through so we want to just do a few different sizes some maybe a bit bigger than others okay and now go to the yellow layer or your next color whichever that may be and same thing again with white as your foreground color and the brush we're just going to go around and drop some of these in overlap some if you wish Put some bigger, maybe a bigger one over here. Now, it doesn't really matter at the moment if it's looking very spotty because this is where the next stage comes in. So to make these a lot more smoother, we're going to click on the layer mask of the colors. So let's go back to the green. And as you can see, we've got, this is why I did it with the adjustment layers. So we've got a color with a layer mask. And the beauty of this is if we go into the properties of the layer mask, we've got the feather option. So now, if we look at the green, we drag this feather slider up, the green just starts blending out super smoothly into the colors around it because we're feathering the mask. And if we go to the yellow layer mask, we can do the same. If you watch them, if we drag it up, it starts to become some more homogenous and just kind of blending into each other. And you want to get to this soft stage where it's um, you can still kind of tell the colors, but it's it's all kind of very smooth and kind of melted together. And once you've got them like that and you've got the feather applied to the mask, it's really simple to go in with your brush and white to add more color or black to remove color in areas that you think are um, too much affected or not enough affected. And bear in mind that feather is a live, a live parameter effect. So it will retain the feathering now so the blending on all the other adjustments that you make. So if you wanted to add a bit more green, we could put some green down there, but it's only going to add it with that really smooth feathering on. So you can see we can get a really nice blended effect. Now, one of the effects that always appears on these background types is like a, f a fake kind of grain or a noise layer. And I think that's, at first I thought it was a stylistic thing, but in reality, I think it's because it hides and helps to cover up some of the banding that you get from making the colors this soft and blended. So we're going to keep this live as well on a separate layer. So I'm going to create a new layer with the new layer icon down here. I'm going to go to press shift 
and F5, which is the shortcut for the fill dialog. I'm going to change the color, fill color to gray. Okay, this will make sense in a minute. And now I'm going to change the blending mode of that gray layer to soft light. Now what that means is that won't affect the colors of anything under it because that neutral gray isn't seen with the soft light blending mode. But what will be seen is if we go to the filter menu and we go noise, add noise, you can see we're adding this grain now on top of the, on top of the image. I'm going to click monochromatic because I don't want it to be adding extra color into the image. So now it's a case of play around with the amount. So you can basically you want to see the noise, but it doesn't want to be too in your face. It just adds a nice bit of texture to the image and helps to blend out some of the banding effects as well. So I quite like that. Click OK. And now because we've done the noise on a separate layer, we can turn that on and off. We can adjust the opacity. We can do all sorts. And all these layers are now live. So we can go to the color, for example, here, and we can say, oh, I don't want that. I want a completely different color for that. So now we can start changing around. I mean, the others take it a bit too vibrant, but you get the idea. You can change the color here in real time because we've got it all on live adjustment layers. Cancel that out. And that's how flexible this option is to create these nice smooth backgrounds.